vitamin punch day today. All the ingredients I'm putting in today. Lettuce, honey, carrots, red onion, lemon, garlic, uh, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some Himalayan rock salt, beetroot, elderberries, a bit of broccoli, oregano. I haven't got any fresh stuff yet. We grow it in the garden. Cayenne pepper, turmeric, a little bit of rosemary, and cinnamon. I'll blend all that up in the blender. Here we have it. One full pot of thick vitamin pack juice. I pour it on their corn, ad lib, and feed it wet. Just to show you the consistency of my juice that goes on top of their corn, it is quite thick. Sticks to the corn, lovely. And I'll split that between all my birds. time of the year for me I think it's very important the birds are still together rearing the youngsters you can see they're big youngsters in the nest now so they'll only be together for this week and then I'll separate them but what I'm trying to do now is get my birds out they're going out together cocks and hens together Just so they get a little bit fit before I start training them. Training will commence end of February ish, depends on when we're racing. But it's a really important time to get your birds with some sort of fitness on them before you start training them. I'd like mine to be flying. Once I separate them next week, I'd like them to be flying three quarters of an hour, morning and evening, weather permitting, before I start training them. And then they'll go training once a day, starting off short, they'll have a couple of five milers, straight into 10 mile, once a day. And then a loft fly in the evenings, and I expect them to do 45 minutes in the evenings as well. Slowly increase the distance up until the first race. Try to give them a long one before the first race. And then straight into the first race. By that time I expect them to be training from 20 mile. After I've done the long trainers, I'll drop them back to 20 mile. Loft fly them again in the evening. Expect them to do an hour. But they'll be separated by then, cocks and hens. So cocks out, or no, it'll be hens out first, hens into the cock section, which is that trap. Drive them through. So drive the cocks through into the hen section, which is over there. Call the hens into this section. Let the cocks out of that section. Drive the hens through and then trap the cocks. This is my morning routine. Come down first thing in the morning, start the bull system. Just have a quick check over the pigeons. This is seven o'clock in the morning. A bit later on, 
nine o'clock. So I've changed over two of the bull pigeons. And now it's just go through, feed everything. So all the youngsters can get plenty of food. I'll do this five to six times a day, small amounts. Each time you go in there and feed a different section, they'll go up then and feed their youngsters. Pigeons love having a bit of straw put in there. It just helps break the monotony of the day. Cocks will keep going back and forth for their hen, building a nice nest. Keeps the young chicks nice and warm as well. So this is just changing over the bull hen. So now he's going with another one. This one's a double granddaughter of Kittle. So a daughter of Mealy Kittle. tomorrow. There we go, job done. Now you could take that hen straight back out, but seeing I caged them up, I will leave her out of her time in there with him. Just so she can stretch her wings. If you like the contents of my videos, please like, subscribe and turn on your notifications.